in our weakness, that we who that keep, we the, memorial keep the, immaculate the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, the help of her rise up, up from our from iniquities, iniquities to our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus, your, Son, your Son, who lives and reigns, and reigns with you in the, you in the unity of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, God forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. All may be said for the liturgy, for the liturgy of, the of the Word.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice the Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck may fully, suck fully of the milk of, the milk of, her, comfort, of her comfort, that you may nurse you with, delight with delight at her abundant, at her abundant rest. rest. For thus, For thus says, the Lord, says the Lord, Lo, lo I, will I will spread prosperity, prosperity over, Jerusalem over Jerusalem like a river, like a river and the wealth, and the wealth of, the nations, of the nations like an, like an overflowing torrent. torrent. As nurslings, As things, you shall you be carried, be carried in, her in her arms and fondled, and fondled in, her, in lap. her lap. As a mother, As a mother comforts, comforts her, child, her child, so, so will, I, will comfort I comfort you. In Jerusalem, in Jerusalem you, shall find you shall find your comfort. Your comfort. When, you see when you see this, your heart your shall, shall rejoice, rejoice and your, and your bodies, bodies flourish, flourish like, the like the grass. The Lord's, the Lord's power, power shall, be known shall be known to His servants. To his servants. The word, the word of the Lord. Of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise and listen to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy 
the promise He made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing and make the sign of the cross while the Archbishop blesses us with the book of the Gospel. Seated and listen, 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 listen to, the to the homily. Your Excellency, the Most Reverend Onesimo Kiyoko, Bishop of Kubao, Father Jefferson Agustin, OFM Cap, Shrine Rector and Parish Priest, dear Capuchin Fathers, Priest Concelebrants, women and men religious, and all of you lay faithful here in this beautiful church this morning. I wish you a very happy fiesta here in this beautiful and splendidly decorated church, the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes here in the Diocese of Cubao. It gives me so much joy and happiness to be with you this afternoon as a representative of Pope Francis here in the Philippines to celebrate Mass with you this afternoon on the feast and indeed here in your parish, the solemnity of Our Lady of Lourdes, the day in which we remember her apparition in Lourdes, France, back in 1858 to Bernadette, our dear beloved Saint Bernadette. Saint Bernadette. Today, Today is the, is 31st, the 31st World, World, World day, of day of the Sick. Of the sick. So, so we, pray we pray in a very, in a very special, special way, way during this during Mass, this mass. For all of our beloved, our beloved sick, people, sick people, everyone, everyone or anyone who is suffering in any way from ailments of mind or body, we pray for during this Mass on the World Day of the Sick. And our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has given us a beautiful message for this World Day of the Sick, in which he entitled it, Take Care of Him, Compassion as a synodal exercise of healing. And then in the letter, Pope Francis speaks about the style of God. What is God's style, God's characteristic way of acting? He says the style of God, Pope Francis says, is closeness, compassion, and tenderness. The style of God is closeness, compassion, and and tenderness. And you know, brothers and sisters, as we crowd together in this beautiful church this morning, we are feeling, of course, the closeness of one another, the compassion and the tenderness of Our Lady. In the Gospel this afternoon, the Gospel of the Visitation, the Gospel in which we remember the moment in which two women met, two women and two unborn babies. Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, a virgin who had become pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit, and then Saint Elizabeth, who was also pregnant, but a woman who was too old to have children. Two miraculous pregnancies meet. Two unborn babies meet. And one baby, who is Saint John the Baptist, jumps for joy in the womb of his mother, St. Elizabeth, when Elizabeth hears the greeting of Mary. The joy of Elizabeth, the joy of little John the Baptist, is our joy today, because we rejoice in the presence of Mary. We rejoice in Mary's closeness, her compassion, and her tenderness. All of you who are devotees of Mary, 
All of you who love Our Lady of Lourdes and are loved by her as her children, all of you, all of us, experience Mary's closeness, her compassion, her tenderness. And that is why we're gathered together in this church this afternoon to say thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you for your closeness. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your tenderness, which we feel when we come here to the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes with all of our petitions and pray to Our Lady. You know, in the Gospel today, uh, Elizabeth is amazed by the presence of Mary. She's flabbergasted, we can say, that Mary has come to her. She says, how does it happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth is amazed by the closeness and the compassion, the tenderness of this young teenage mother who traveled all the way from Nazareth, her hometown, to the place where Elizabeth and Zechariah lived in order to help Elizabeth in her difficult pregnancy because she was quite elderly. Elizabeth experiences that closeness of Mary and she's amazed by it. And isn't that true for all of us who pray to Our Lady? Many times we say, how does it happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me and intercede for me and help me? And yet all of us who love Our, Mar who love our Lady, who love Mama Mary, all of us experience that many times in our lives. Mary's presence is always relatively discreet. What do I mean? She's like a mother in the background. She doesn't push herself forward and make a big show. But she's there, close to us, holding our hand, protecting us, listening to us, helping us. Just like she did at the wedding feast of Cana, when that couple, the newly married couple, was about to run out of wine for their, their wedding feast, and were about to suffer a big humiliation in front of their guests, because they wouldn't have enough wine, Mary sees and she intercedes with Jesus and Jesus works his miracle. We experience the same thing if we're devoted to Our Lady. If we pray the rosary and we try to pray the rosary every day, we'll experience that maternal protection of Mary, her closeness, her compassion, her tenderness. And you know, Mary is also an image of a synodal church. We're in this synodal process of the church throughout the entire world. And as all of you by now have heard, the root meaning of synod is caravan, a group of people traveling together, going together, on the way, helping one another. And that's what we are as the church, helping one another. That's what Pope Francis wants us to do in his message on this world day of the sick. Take care of him. Take care of him. Take care of one another. But Mary is an image of that synodal process because she went from Nazareth down to the town where Zechariah and Elizabeth lived. And certainly since she was a teenage mother, newly pregnant, she didn't travel alone. The gospel doesn't tell us how she came. But she came certainly in a caravan with other people on the way. So think about this for a moment. The first thing Mary does after receiving the gift of Jesus in her womb, she goes. She goes on a synodal path, the path of the caravan from her town to the town of Zechariah and Elizabeth. She goes to help. She goes to be close. She goes to show compassion and tenderness. And we need to imitate that. We need to imitate Mary in that. It's interesting, when Mary appears throughout history, like in Lourdes, Lourdes is a small, was a small town, and we can say, in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't an important place. And yet Mary chose the unimportant place to go. Fatima, in Portugal, is not an important place. It's out of the way. Maybe some of you have gone there. Not so easy to get to. Out of the way places attract the gaze of Mary. Out of the way places attract 
her closeness, her compassion, her tenderness. And we need to imitate Mary in that by going to the, we can say, the out of the way places, the places in our neighborhood where maybe a poor person is living without anyone visiting him or her. We go, like Mary, to show the amazing closeness and compassion and tenderness of God for his poor, for his sick. So don't stay enclosed in your own little circle, but go out. That is what Pope Francis wants us to do. Go out to the peripheries. Go out to the Lourdes. Go out to the Fatimas of the world. Not the big cities. We're in a big city, but go out to the places where the poor are, where the sick are, to comfort them. That's what the Pope is asking for on this World Day of the Sick. So you can see that for me, as the representative of Pope Francis here in the Philippines, it gives me so much joy and happiness to be with you this day. As I said at the beginning of the Mass, your church is so beautifully decorated for this feast. The flowers, the incredible music from the choir, all of us here, devotees of Mary, children of Mary, who love our mother, Mama Mary. People say that the Filipinos are the Pueblo Amante de Maria, de Maria. What does that mean? The people who love Mary. We are, you are, the people who love Mary and are loved by Mary. So stay, cl stay close to Our Lady. Stay close to Our Lady, but also imitate her in going out. Imitate her in her closeness, her compassion, her tenderness for the sick and the poor, especially today on the World Day of the Sick. I ask you also to pray for Pope Francis. Whenever I see him in Rome, he always asks me to ask you, please pray for him. He relies on your prayers. He has a great affection and a great love for the Filipino people, and he really is relying on your prayers. So, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Mary is our life, our sweetness, and our hope. We are her devoted children. We celebrate her feast day, Our Lady of Lourdes, this day, and I wish each and every one of you a very happy and blessed fiesta. May God bless you. Please rise. And now we confess our faith in the words of the Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came, came down, down from, from heaven. And by, by the Spirit, Spirit incarnate the Virgin Mary and be a man. For our for sake, sake he was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered Perfect. death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father, who accomplished great things in Mary and brought her to the glorious home in heaven. As pilgrims, we are still journeying towards the heavenly kingdom. Let us bring our prayers with her and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the church, Pope Francis, Onesto, our bishop, 
and all our bishops, priests, and religious, that in the spirit of Mary's piety, they may continue to be faithful in their pastoral care of the whole church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our nation, that they may follow Mary's motherly love and become instruments of peace by building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those tormented by pain and suffering, that they may bear their crosses bravely when no immediate relief is available, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this Eucharistic banquet, that through the help and intercession of Mary, we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, that they may rejoice forever with our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Lourdes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ, your Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. Grant that all who confidently call on our Blessed Mother may experience her maternal help through Christ our Lord. Amen. All may be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please remain in your seats. Our usherettes will guide you in lining up for communion. Thank you.
Please rise. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O oh Lord, your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some words from our rector and parish priest, Reverend Father Jefferson Augustine of the Order of Friars Minor, Capuchin. For the past two years, since the canonical coronation of Our Lady of Lourdes, our Church has undergone many physical changes. Like I have said time and again, more important than the physical attributes that were enhanced the foundation of our faith was reinforced. We should rejoice at the very fact that her image was venerated after a very long wait and her recognition which she so deserved finally came. During our Dalo Patrona or the visit of our patron, she was carried in procession to every street of our nine barangays. She was there every night to invite the children to come to her shrine. Every visit was interspersed with formation talks on our various ministries and capped by a Eucharistic celebration that allowed us to be in communion with all levels in the community. Every Saturday, after our rosary procession and healing mass, we were just bringers of the food that were generously shared by the community every week during our mobile community pantry. She was the ultimate giver. She who cured the sick. She who sheltered the homeless. She who cared for the lonely. She who fed the hungry and those of the peripherals of our community. She did all this, not on her own, but through you, dear parishioners and benefactors. We are her allies. We are her army. We are her stewards. Our foundation is strong, not because of the shrine's architecture or engineering structure. Our foundation is strong because of the people, each and every one of us. We compose this church. We are the church. In the time of pandemic, the end of which we pray and hope is slowly upon us. Many of us question our faith, but in the depths of our hearts, we clung to our faith in God, whatever His plans were for us. On this 165 years after the first apparition of Our Lady of Lourdes to St. Bernadette, 
whose feast we celebrate next week, February 18, let us continue to cling to this hope and belief that He is all-merciful, His love is unconditional, and everything is according to His divine plan. Whatever happens is God's sign welcoming to us to this national shrine, calling us to His mother's abode and loving care, telling us that we are His faithful, whom He is calling to conversion and new evangelization. To all of you, devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of Lourdes, our deepest thanks for finding solace in this corner of the community to the parish pastoral council, liturgical servers, and fellow Lincolns, and city local government officials. Let us acknowledge the presence of our mayor, Mayor Joy Belmonte. <clears throat> Congressman Arjo Ataide. <clears throat> Councillor Joseph Huico. <clears throat> Councillor TJ Kalalay. <clears throat> Councillor Sharin Ferrer. <clears throat> Councillor Bernard Herrera. Councillor Doray de la Mente, Board Head Ricky Corpus, our Barangay Captains, Captain Ato de Guzman from NS Amoranto, Captain Apple Castor de Jesus from Siena, Captain Lawrence Ticchio Tiglao from Paambundok, Captain Sherilyn Corpus from Bungad, Captain Trina Crisostomo Sioson from Barangay Lourdes. Captain Isaac Tan from Maharlika. Captain Danny Soriano from Salvacion. Captain Gary Arroyo from Barangay St. Peter. Thanks for, for your support in all our activities, especially those for the least, the last, and the lost. Our deepest thanks for making our 71 years as a parish meaningful and significant. To our beloved mentors and guides, the Apostolic Papal Nuncio to the Philippines, Most Reverend Archbishop Charles Brown Didi, thank you. <clears throat> to our Most Reverend Honesto Antioco Didi, Bishop of the Diocese of Cubao. Thank you. <clears throat> to the Capuchin community, headed by our Provincial Minister, Reverend Father Edgar Martinez, OFM Capuchin. <clears throat> to our Guardian, Reverend Father Artemio Rimundo, thank you. <clears throat> to my brother priest, for your brotherly support and partnership. Father Mandy Malihan from Santo Domingo. Father Archie Perez from St. John the Baptist, San Juan City. Father Alain Nocele from UST Central Seminary. Father Guido Evarard, Most Holy Redeemer and our Vicar for Rain. Father Ed Yamson from Sungai Tagaytay. Father Sebastian De Los Santos from De Los Santos Medical Center. Father Rick Marpa from Nansutur. Father Yuli Cacho from Orthopedic. Father William Tan from San Jose de Troso. Father Mario Mendoza from San Jose de Troso. Father Benito Fajota from San Miguel de Manila. From Reyna Father Reynaldo Tumbocan from San Sebastian Sambales. My brothers, Alberto, Father Alberto Poblete from Bahay Capuchino. Father Alan Samson from Mandaluyong. Father Franz Atienza from Bahay Capuchino. Father Diwaram from Ensol, Father Bijou, 
Kuchinerabad from Ensol, Father Tonet Yapchonko from Baguio, our Vicar Provincial, Father Ernesto Lagasca from Ensol, Father Jose Eduardo Mayo from Ensol, and, for, and Father Jeffrey Torres from Ensol. Thank you all most sincerely for your wholehearted and unselfish support and care to this shrine on the corner of Canlaon and Retiro, where our beloved Mother, Our Lady of Lourdes, proudly bask in the love and dedication of her children. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Happy Fiesta po! Viva la Virgen! Viva la Virgen! Viva la Virgen! Palakpakan po natin ang mahal na Birhen ng Lourdes. Let us also thank Father Jeff for leading us to make our Fiesta 2023 celebration a success. Please rise. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Mary, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Speed to God. Viva la Virgen! Viva! Viva la Virgen! Viva! Viva la Virgen! Viva!
wala pong aakyat sa may sanctuary. Bababa po tayo. Bawal na po tayo dito sa taas ng sanctuary. Mag-uumpisa na po ang isang misa, ang susunod na misa. Pwede po bumaba na po tayo sa sanctuary. Sanctuary. 